Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over the new Nikon D3200. Now there are a lot of major improvements in this camera, including 8 more megapixels, expanded video performance, as well as a much better screen, so let's take a look. The heart of the D3200 is a 24 megapixel CMOS sensor. Now this is the same sensor that is in some Sony NEX cameras, and it should give some awesome image quality, probably even surpassing the D5100 and D7000. On top of that, just based on megapixel count alone, this is the second highest camera in the Nikon range, only below the D800. Speaking of the higher end Nikon DSLRs, this supports the same X-Speed 3 processor from the D800 as well as the D4. Now this should give it some really good performance, and it also helps with the ISO, as this camera is now capable of going up to 6400 ISO with an expandable up to 12800. I've been using the D3100 for over a year now, and in fact that's the camera that I'm filming on right now, and probably some of the most exciting things has to do with the video mode. So now you can support up to 1080p at 30 frames per second, or as the D3100 was capped at 24 frames, and at 720p it's also capable of going all the way up to 60 frames per second. Another improvement is that the D3200 can go up to 20 minutes of recording at a time as opposed to 10. That was one of my pet peeves about the D3100, is that every 10 minutes I gotta stop the camera, start it again, and it's just kind of a bit of a pain. However, with the D3200, it can go up to 20 minutes, which doesn't have bad. On top of that, probably one of my favorite bits is that it now has a microphone input, so you can go ahead and hook up any kind of stereo mic to the D3200 and it will work no problem. They've also tweaked the body a little bit. So the grip is slightly redesigned, honestly I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference, but it is a little bit different. And they've also changed the live view, so instead of having the little toggle, instead you have a live view button on the back of the camera and the record button for video is up top. Uh, personally, I really like the way that the D3100 and the D5100 have done it, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to like this change, but hey, it's worth a shot. Another major improvement is the screen. So the D3100 definitely does not have the best screen in the world. It's very low resolution and not that easy to read outdoors. However, the D3200 now has a new 921,000 dot LCD, which is about four times the pixel density of the D3100. Unfortunately, it doesn't tilt or swivel or anything like that. However, it still is a nice upgrade. A new optional feature is a Wi-Fi dongle. So you can connect this to your D3200 and it will allow you to pair it with an Android phone at launch or an iOS device when the autumn once the app launches. And what this will allow you to do is control your camera from your device. So for example, you could have your Android phone, you could focus, you could take a look at the live view, you can take pictures, video, all that kind of stuff straight from your device. On top of that, you can also take a picture on your Nikon, send it over to your Android or your iOS smartphone, and then you can go put some Instagram filters or something on it, tweet it, and do whatever you want. Now this is just an accessory, so it's not built into the D3200, and it's going to run you about 60 bucks. However, I definitely think it's going to be worth it for me. I can just imagine being able to pull my phone out, adjust the focus, make sure the framing, white balance, all that kind of stuff is right straight from my phone, instead of having to constantly get up, check my shot, which is something I do a lot with my D3100. The camera will be on sale in just a couple of weeks, so sometime in mid-May it will go on sale for $600 for body only and $700 with the 18-55 to kit lens. I love my D3100, but I cannot wait to get my hands on a D3200. Uh, mostly it's just because of the video mode, so having a microphone input, a better screen, uh, and of course being able to get a little bit better 1080p as well as 720p video is going to be awesome for me. On top of that though, having 24 megapixels in a camera that costs around 600 bucks is nothing to laugh at at all. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos on the D3200 as soon as I can get my hands on it, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel.